Hello there. Welcome to Just the Dis. My name is Brian, and we talk about Blu-rays here. And in this episode, uh, I am going to be talking about some Scream Factory, some Hammer action, and their new collector's edition of the film Night Creatures, a.k.a. Captain Clegg. Uh, and this is a Peter Cushing film, and it is from 1962. And I'm a fan of this one. Now, this was released previously by uh, Powerhouse uh, Indicator as part of their, I think, Volume 6 Hammer Box set, which is Region B locked. Uh, so I believe this is the, um, I'm just double checking that that was, in fact, Region B. Yep. That is Region B Locked. Uh, so this is sort of the U.S. debut of, of this film. And there's some reasons why you might be interested in this version versus the indicator version. Um, but let's talk about the film first. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm definitely a fan. Um, it's, it's, it's set in the 18th century, and it opens with a bald sailor this guy here um we see him marooned on an island after assaulting the wife of the pirate uh the notorious nathaniel clegg captain clegg um and then we sort of find out then sort of fades away and i can't remember if they cut his tongue out then or if that happens later but the this sailor plays a part in the plot of the film he comes up he's sort of becomes a a character that we see a lot and part of the thing about him is that he's mute because of the tongue being cut out so um fast forward to 1792 and captain clegg has supposedly been captured by the royal navy and hanged and is dead and is buried in this coastal village called dimchurch on the romney marsh and this the surrounding countryside of this city is known for this sort of legend of these marsh phantoms, which is what these like ghostly figures are, the skeletons and the skeleton horses. And, and that's a really cool image, by the way. Uh, I like that image a lot. The one downside to the movie is that you don't get to see the marsh phantoms that much. You see them a little bit at the beginning and a little bit more significantly at the end. I want to say there was only two appearances. There might be a third. Um, but, if I had one complaint about the movie, I would say more Marsh Phantoms, please, because they're they're cool. Especially the horses, like looking like that, uh, are pretty neat. Um, so you have this coastal village, Dim Church, and uh, you have Peter Cushing there, and I want to say he's like he's sort of like the not the mayor of the town, but like he oversees the town. He's like a prominent member of the the village. I can't remember if he's a pastor. I think, um, but so this group of um, sailors arrives I, they're in service of the king and they've heard that there's smuggling of alcohol from France going on in this village and so they're there to investigate it and they happen to have the bald sailor guy with them the captain Captain Collier played by Patrick Allen um, has captured him at some point and made him a slave so he's just sort of part of their um, entourage and you know he he definitely seems to have some notions about the Peter Cushing character when he sees him. And yeah, I won't go too far into that, but um uh so so it becomes this sort of battle of wits between the villagers who are definitely doing some smuggling and they have a really kind of a cool like secret passageway stuff happening. Uh, in the town and things where they're able to hide the barrels of booze and uh, you know that they they are trying to keep it from these sailors because they can get in big trouble with the king if the sailors find it and they're very clever they're not you know completely stupid so you kind of feel that tension of like oh man are they going to get caught um, another neat thing about the film is that it stars uh, Oliver Reed and so he's in a smaller part, but he's also sort of one of the townspeople kind of involved in the smuggling. And so it's great to see Oliver Reed backing up uh, Peter Cushing, you know. Um, 
but yeah so it becomes a thing where you know the the it's not i don't want to say it's like scooby-doo but like the marsh phantoms is a thing where you're just like what is the deal with that is that the villagers is that a real thing i don't know uh is it trying to distract from something and i'll leave that to be sort of seen as the film plays out uh but when we do see them they are like i said super cool and uh so yeah it's just got a good really good tension about it in terms of that you know um are they going to get caught because you, you immediately don't like captain collier and his band and you're immediately wondering what the deal is with peter cushing and um you know it's 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 a cool movie like it's one that i definitely enjoy um it uh was directed by peter graham scott it uh let's see here i'm trying to think if there is anthony hines wrote it i don't know him as a as a writer but um anyway it's it's a good movie and now in terms of extras i'll do a little comparison between this and the uh the indicator blu-ray okay uh the big thing for sure i mean the extras are good too but right off the bat new 22 2022 2k scan from the inner positive now when you look at the um indicator site it just says high definition remaster which just probably means available master um i mean i i can't be sure but i will say this looks good and may in fact look better than the indicator version so hats off to screen factor for doing a new scan now with this we get a new audio commentary from Bruce Hallenbeck. We get a new interview with special effects artist Brian Johnson. And then the making of Captain Clegg, the Mossman legacy, George Mossman's uh, carriage collection. Um, Slipcase, obviously. And reversible artwork. Like that. Um, now, in comparison to the um i'm just going to pull up the indicator version uh that has two presentations of the film the Cla captain clegg version with the original uk title sequence and the night creatures with the us title so you don't get that uh original mono audio this has it has an audio commentary with film historian constantine nasser which I remember being good, so that's, you know, not to be discounted. The BEHP interview with Peter Graham, Scott, uh, career-spanning interview from 2004, 201 minutes. That's a pretty epic extra, actually. Uh, Hammer's Women, Molly uh, Arbuthnot, and Rosemary Burroughs, overview of the prolific Hammer wardrobe mistress by film historian Josephine Bonning. That's about 14 minutes. And then Kim Newman introducing Captain Clegg, 14 minutes, and an appreciation. I, I did like that feature quite a bit. Uh, I love Kim Newman. Uh, he's great. Um, Peter Cushing Perspectives, 29-minute uh, documentary looking at the life and work of Cushing, featuring contributions from actors Derek Folds, Judy Matheson, and Madeline Smith. Also really good. Uh, Smuggler's Gothic, uh, 22 minutes. David Huckvale, author of Hammer Film Scores and Musical Avant-Garde on Don Banks' score to the film. Then The Making of Captain Clegg, which you do get here. Uh, from 2014, 32-minute documentary narrated by John Carson with insights um, from film historian Wayne Kinsey. And then we get The Mossman Legacy, which you also get uh, here. Uh, and that's from 2014, seven minutes. Kinsey discusses the contributions of transport historian and collector George Mossman to Hammer Productions. Um, so not an insignificant amount of more features so this is actually a tough one for folks that are big fans of this movie because you get the new scan and you get those extra commentaries two of them on this and then you get uh, a lot of the other stuff that indicator did as part of their release so you know it's a toss-up it's a really tough call as to which way you want to go but um i do recommend this release it's definitely you know a nice looking release and um I listened to the Bruce Hallenbeck commentary, and I absolutely enjoyed that. I didn't get a chance to do the Brian Johnson yet, um, but yeah, it's tough. I just wanted to give you guys a sense of what you were getting with one versus the other, and so uh, 
That is Night Creatures, Collector's Edition from Scream Factory. I love that they continue to do the Hammer films, and I hope that's an ongoing thing for them. So, anyway, um, thank you for watching and or listening, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.